Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Coffee with the Moms. This is here today and I'm going to share with you guys my little she shed. So a she shed is a area for a woman and um, it's for a place that you can go and actually just relax, relax, zen, whatever. Um, I love to craft. I actually got out of crafting for a long time and I did a lot of planning. I did a lot of um, organizing and up here, it was just like a dingy attic. And when I first purchased this house, it was actually a storage room. I just like tossed stuff up here. And then I was up here one day and I'm like, this space can be a really nice space. I just have to do it. The only thing was it was very difficult because I have all the slanted walls in my house. And, but I can definitely make it work. Definitely. And I want it a place that I can come home to and you know when the kids are sleeping I can come up here and just kind of like make my reality disappear for a little bit and just kind of relax um so that's like what I want it mainly for um plus I want it there was a couple things I need to make this space um like livable kind of a thing so i wanted it to be a craft room an office a storage room a planning room and i actually wanted a place where my kids can come and they can do their crafting so and i did it i made it work out so good guys um i'm definitely back into crafting since i got my space and um, this is where I usually do my YouTube videos as well, too. So, it, you guys, if you guys don't have, like, an actual room, make it a little space in your house. If you guys are not into crafting or anything like that, and you guys are into reading, make a little space for that, you know? So, like, when the kids are, you know, in bed or work's done, and you just want to, like, sit down and relax, no television with no television no phone no nothing you just want to sit down and relax so i'm going to share with you guys this whole space um, i'm going to share with you guys my office my office space the kids space and then i'm going to share with you my closet that holds all my crafting supplies i'm going to show you how i organize every single little thing it's going to be a three-part video and um yeah guys so Grab a piece of paper and a pen and a cup of coffee, and let's get started, guys. Okay, so this is the door I usually come in, and this is my attic, guys. And there's that wall that you guys are all raving about. Um, most of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree, or I made it, and I usually sit right there. So, come up these stairs, and then this is where like my desk is, and that's where my closet is, guys, with all my bins. So, let's come up here. As you guys can see that, that's that wall I've been talking to you guys about. I'm going to be starting to do, here's the kids' stuff. And then, here's my little nook area. And I did make those paper airplanes, guys, and they're just, um, they just have sticky tack behind them. Just to give it a little bit of a, you know, cute touch, even though I don't want it to make it super, super kid-friendly. You know, this is like my space, but I really want them to have their own space as well. So if you guys can see that. And then there is my desk, guys. And then I 
have a walk-in closet. It's a different um, lighting. And you guys, these walls are so slanted. So if I'm bumping into stuff, sorry. I'm just going to go over a couple little things. Sorry about that squeak. I do live in a really old house, guys. So yeah, this is where I actually do my YouTube videos and everything, and I absolutely love it. Okay, guys, so we're going to start out with my office. So my office contains um, my husband's billing and all that. I actually plan, um, do my happy planning and all that kind of stuff. And I do some of the kids' um, activities, um, like for school and everything. I do that all the way up here. So and kind of keep like memorabilia, all that kind of stuff up here as well too. So um, most of this stuff I'm going to show you guys, all these cabinets that I got, if I don't mention it, they're from Walmart, okay? So um, they do range from $12 to $25 depending on the size, okay? So yes, and then all the buckets, I got them from Walmart and the plastic bins. I got them, anything that's plastic or anything like that, I got them from um, the Dollar Tree. And some of the canvas totes, or like the canvas buckets, I get. I got those from the Dollar Tree, guys. Yes. So most of those supplies are from the Dollar Tree. So, you know, just go and look. Because you can definitely find great items to organize with from the Dollar Tree. So, let's get started, guys, okay? Okay, guys. So this is round two for my She Shed. So, this is my office space right here. As you can see, there's a huge slanted wall right here. So, it was very awkward <laughs> to, you know, plan this room. But anyway, right here is actually the, um, the fireplace. And that um, bookshelf I got at Walmart for $25. It fits so perfectly. The desk I got at Amazon, this cabinet I got at Walmart for $30, and I got that as a gift. I got that out of the trash, actually, and I've always had that file cabinet. So, let's start with my desk, guys. So, this desk, I absolutely love it. Like I said, I got it from Amazon. My mom actually got me the chair for my birthday, so thank you, mother. But anyway... Um, I just put like these little bins right here. Um, these are like little things I've been working on, um, or put away. This is my little notebooks that I like, and I do switch out my notebooks every season. Right down here is my, like, my equipment for YouTube, and this is my washi. I don't have a lot of washi, guys. This is my equipment as well, too. I just put it right in there. So... Nothing too shabby. And then, um, if you guys can walk around here, I have that little um, file um, rack. And what I do is, if there's like a project or like, especially like school papers, like I want to keep, anything like that, I put it in here because I am... I do a lot of things during the year and I want to keep, I put it in here. And that's just like the overall projects I will get to eventually. <laughs> um, this, um, Aiden does Taekwondo and he gets his belts. I'm figuring that out as well, how to display them. And then there's my clipboards. So, and then when we go over here, I'm going to start out with the very tippy top. Now, I will tell you this. The supplies I'm going to be showing you, my mother did retire, so she gave me all her office supplies and her stuff that she, did, she just didn't want anymore. And her office was, I think, going out of business, so they, like, tossed so, many, so much stuff out, and she gave it to me. So up there is all the pens, markers, um, highlighters, that is extra and then I took all these bins are from Dollar Tree guys Dollar Tree I just spray painted them 
But anyway, envelopes, staples, office supplies, maybe like sticky tack and stuff like that, paper pads. So, and I just put those little feathers on the back just to give it a little something. These are from Dollar Tree too. Um, school info, kids medical, car info, baseball, taekwondo, soccer. I keep these in a binder so I have the contracts and um, how I paid for them. And actually I have like their schedules in here and I do have their pictures in here when they do take their pictures. And I just rotate them out. Anyway, I got this little thing. Um, just office supplies, little things like that. Um, you know, I feel like I got these at Target. And then right down here, guys, is my planner supplies. Now, my happy planners. So these are happy planners, and these are happy planners. Okay, this is actually my drawing book, so I just keep it there. And then this is my happy planner supplies, just my extra supplies that I like to use like every week. This is my, you know, my little notebook for happy planner, my little inserts that I do love and do use. This is like my, um, my supplies for my office. So like pens, you know, hole puncher, scissors, rulers, you know, that kind of thing. And then down here, guys. Um, I keep these in a binder, okay? So, if you guys can read that, it says Mommy Summer Camp. Christmas ideas, Halloween ideas, how, ho home project binder. So, these three are have recipes, have things I like to do with my kids. And I don't forget, like traditions I like to do, especially for like the summer. I like to do a lot of things like that. This home project binder. If I'm doing a big project in my house, I like to plan it. I like to sketch it out, anything like that. Um, paper pads. Don't ask me why I have all these paper pads. I'm telling you, my mother, there was, I actually have more of these and I needed somewhere to put them. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is my happy planner sticker book and these are my happy planner stickers. Okay. Um, which is like, I got this at Hobby Lobby. I, I actually really like it. And right here on these, um, these are huge envelopes. And they have my die cuts in here, or my templates, and um, for my projects. So if I didn't, you know, finish a project, I put it in there. So I do that. And then down here is um, my photo albums. So... And then over here, guys, is this cabinet. Now, this is stuff like I really hardly go through. It's like computer paper because the printer is right there. Um, what is this? Office supplies. So this has like post-it notes, um, those big clips. Um, what's in here? Oh, more big clips. Yeah, I know. My, I t I'm telling you. Like, what am I going to do with all these post-it notes? I probably have to donate them. <laughs> so, CDs and more office supplies. These are just like, um, like address labels, sh big sheet protectors that I do use. And this is all like cell phone stuff. And then you have the filing cabinet, my laminator, and this is right here is my um, my address book. Oh, and there's my big cutter. That um, it's like ancient old, but it still works. It's actually used to be my, my mother's. But anyway, this cabinet right here, guys, is plastic one. Yes, I got it on the side of a curb. <laughs> so I know the. Um, the top of it is a little wonky, but you know what? I don't care. So, on the bottom is, it says Meg's Projects. That's my sister. My sister comes here and she scrapbooks. So, she gets this bottom drawer and she gets this. Don't mind this, guys, because back here is where I actually keep Christmas toys, all that kind of stuff. So, they don't have to see. But anyway, um, right here is my holiday stickers 
And I usually organize my holiday stickers with um, these envelopes. Or I do them with these binders. These are like the mini binders. You can get these at actually um, Dollar Tree. Not the same exact ones, but you can get. And I just organize my stickers with this. That's what I do. So, nothing too shabby. Right here, um, I have to actually go through that. That's my 31. I used to sell 31, so um, I'm not selling it anymore, so I want to donate it to somebody. So I have to do that. And these are my stickers, guys. More stickers. So here, this is actually from Dollar Tree. And I organize most of my stickers with these accordioning files, okay? These are so nice. And I got these labels at Dollar Tree, too. So these are my favorite right here. These are my Disney, you know. And then I put more Disney ones in here. And then in here, I got this big, um, oh my god, I've had it for a while. But I think I got it at Michael's. And then you open it up, and here's all my stickers. So, like this one says, wedding, celebration, birthday, baby. So, these are the accordion files that you can get at Dollar Tree. Now, they are definitely different than these ones. These, these ones expand more, as you guys can see that. That's why I do like these. Um, and then I just label them right on top. So that's how I organize these. It does work for me very, very well, guys. Um, I actually just reorganized these. So, um, yeah. You got, this is crazy. Like, I, I told you I was obsessed with stickers, and I really am. So, but it does work out for me in here. And these things are a lifesaver as well. So... I think they're called like coupon organizers or something like that. Anyway, we're going to go over here. And this is my planner cart. Okay. And I love this because you could just roll it and right by my desk. And it works out so well. But anyway, um, right where you guys can see this. Um, organizer. I got this at Hobby Lobby. It was like clarenced out. And I organized all my happy planner um, lists and like note paper, all that kind of stuff. Um, this is actually just a catch-all bin for my planner supplies. Stuff like I don't really need to organize because I'm going to be using it. It's like those pins. This, you know. And then this is actually more planner stickers but these are like different planner stickers so mini binder and if you guys are wondering where i got like these like plastic things i got them at walmart okay walmart is great for um these i think they were like two bucks and i think you get like 20 of them so and and actually walmart has these mini binders as well but these ones are so pretty. You can get them at Target for three bucks, you know. Or they have them at Dollar Tree now. So, not these same exact ones, but they do like that one right there. I just got that at Dollar Tree. So, and then right down here, um, these bins right here, I got them at Michael's. There were three of them for a dollar. They were clearanced out, but um, they're usually like. 240 or 249 or something like that for three of them but anyway um the this is actually one of those happy planner rolls i don't like them i'll be honest with you. it's very hard to organize them and they keep on like coming out so i just put it in here to be honest with you and here's my um inspirational cards and then I have like my accessories like the disc, my bands in here, you know, to wrap around the, um, you know, my planners. And then here, I put all my like page flags in there and stuff like that. And then, 
this is one of my kind of favorites. I love this box. I actually got this at Family Dollar for a dollar. And it has my favorite washi in here. I don't think this is washi. I think it's like actual tape. But I, I got these at Hobby Lobby. And I think, oh my god, they were like clearance out for like 30 cents or something. So I love them. So I just put them in here. I do plan with those. And then down here, I have all my mini Happy Planner supplies. So, and I... I just organize all that stuff with one of these um, clips and I just hold everything in there. So, and then this is my A5 planner inserts. And then here is my pen case. This is a happy planner pen case. And I have all my favorite um, planner pens in there. And let me just roll this. Now, I got this. This is actually a 31 bag, actually. Um, and I just hook it right here and it, it stays very nicely right here. And I put all my um, my stamps that I, you know, do my planners with. These are actually my favorite stamps. I do have more stamps, but um, I'm starting to do it like this as well, too. These are CD cases um, and I put all my like gel stamps in here. So I'm starting to do more stamping, which is great. And then you just roll it back out. And then I just, what I do is I just push this so I don't see those toys. I just push that over so you can't really see. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that's like my mini office. And if you like this, um, give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. And we'll be right back on our next video, guys. Bye. See you later.